Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd introduce you to my uh, 3018 uh, rear chip catching system. So, if you're new to my channel, I got this uh, 3018 CNC machine. And I haven't got a chance to run it yet, but uh, before I ran I wanted to design like a chip caching system that would prevent like stuff from getting everywhere in my, t my test bench here. So, or, or anywhere I actually had, had run it. I don't have chips everywhere. So, I wanted to design like a full chip containment system. So it took me a while, uh, a couple weeks to build this thing, where I designed it in Fusion 360. But uh, let me show you the bottom part of it. Um, yeah, actually I have a couple different designs up in Thingiverse. The link that will be down below, but um, the my printer wasn't big enough. My printer, my 3D printer wasn't big enough to pit, print it in one piece. So you'll need a pretty big printer. Like a CR10 uh, 4S, I think, the 400 millimeter bed will do it, but um, this is a big part. So, some of the areas you can see where I have a, uh, uh, it looks all bad, it's because of the uh, support I had to build into it. But uh, yeah, so I, I created it, built it in four different pieces, and I'm gonna screw it together right now and get it going. But the cool thing about this, though, is it has a bottom drawer. Once I get it in there, you'll see it, but yeah, it has a bottom slide drawer. So this will actually, hopefully, the, the air blower is going to blow the chips and this bottom will catch it. So the drawer will actually allow you to empty the chips out from the bottom. And then if you, if you, you because there's going to be a sidewall containment system, you'll just blow all the chips to the bottom and you'll just take the drawer out. So this is just one phase of the chip containment system, the bottom part. And uh, let me hold on a second. All right, so then I also have these uh, felt feet. I got these on Amazon, I'll put a link down below. They were also on my Thingiverse product page. But I might have to drill these holes a little bit bigger. But uh, yeah, take a look. These will actually screw in. Uh, on the one in Thingiverse, I might open these holes up, or you can just drill them up. But they're levelers, they're felt levelers. And my, my workbench is not 100% straight, so um, I love actually having these. I have these on my 3D printers and uh, my laser cutter. But they absorb impact, so it's actually going to make everything quieter. So, love those things. They come with some like little insert, screw insert. So, like I said, what I'll do is I'll probably end up uploading another project file with bigger holes. But on these ones, because it took so long to print out, I'm just going to drill them out. So I can screw those in. Alright, so because I made it into four pieces like this, I actually had to, I created some little screw holes. So, like, it, with, in here, So in here, I actually created some screws so you can get like a drywall screw and screw and glue these together to kind of make them one piece. So screw who I made it for, well I, I measured it for like a drywall screw so I can get a long drywall screw in there and I can uh, glue it together. Same thing for this one. Also, I also created a side screw here to go for the uh, from side to side. So see that right there? There's a snare side screw that attach it here. Alright, so we'll get that going and uh, we're back. Alright, so here's a drywall screw. I actually have an extender reach Phillips. You'll need that to get in there. We'll just get it started here. Alright, so now the actual tip is coming through right there. You can see that. Then I'll we'll slide it up. And I actually have the drawer on here still because I, I want to make sure that it doesn't bind up. So but I might probably put some uh, super glue in there. And I'll do that now. But I'm not going to put it near. Well, at least I have oil on the oil the the rails. So uh, yeah, I would suggest probably putting oil on the rails. So in case you get super glue or your glue on there, it's not going to stick to that. I'm going to put a layer of glue on here. This little super glue I get. Not a lot, but just enough. Alright, well, it's probably a little too much. Alright, now I'll screw that thing in. Okay. I'm sure this doesn't mine up too much. See, it's 
pretty good. Not 100%, but like I said, I wish I had a printer big enough to print one piece. But uh, what sucks about the big printers, though, man, it's so hard to get rid of the uh, ghosting on the Y axis. You're dealing with this huge bed. All right, so that's cool. I'm going to leave that in there, actually. Like that. Then I want to do the same thing on the other side here. Uh, first, uh, slide this piece in. screw. When I get started then I'll put the glue on there. This drawer gets tight just kind of working the thread like that. I feel like the lube actually comes in. Yeah just because they were printed in so many different directions I, had, I actually had a lot of problems printing these things. You know uh, well, actually I was having 3D printer problems. My hot end uh, the heater element was actually loose in there so it kept on like timing out. Um, or it kept on losing that actually uh, connectivity. But let's do that. Make sure it's nice and smooth before we put it back together. I'll do the same thing for the other side. Alright, don't, don't, don't go so crazy where you break the, the drawer here. Like on the drawer, there's like this rounded edge. But uh, yeah, this is actually for this printer right here. Uh, but if you actually have a different 3018 printer, like the other one, the cheaper version, I can. This actually might fit on it. I don't have the dimensions for the other printer. But uh, I can modify this if you want for the other printer. Alright, so to get these lined up right here, this side, actually, two holes on this side. Same thing with the Phillips. Get started here. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and glue it. Alright guys, this might be a little tight, but you just gotta work it in. You can take the, uh, you can sand down the edges a little bit too, that's what I've been doing. Um, it probably wouldn't been like this because I've done other, other trays, like keyboard trays, with the same setup. I just think because it's four pieces and it doesn't line up 100%, you just gotta work it in there a little bit. That's it. So now I'm gonna put the, yeah these are actually much bigger felts than my typical ones I use for my 3D printers, but this will give it uh, more dispersion. Right, so what I was saying is actually I'd make the holes bigger right there to fit that bigger insert. So I'm going to drill that real fast. Alright, that should just screw right in there. That should be deep enough. Yeah, the hole goes all the way through, if you're wondering. And then I should just be able to... I might have to go a little bit bigger. Let's see. I use the I, I use 15% Intel on this thing, but you can do whatever you want. You print it out, like whatever which angle you're gonna do your uh, uh, support. Yeah, I hate having to use support. I mean, I try to design things without to not use support, but the angles are just too odd. So. Do the other four or the other three. Alright, so for the mounting points, you're going to need uh, M4 T nuts, and uh, you could probably go with either 12 meter, 12 meter, or 14 millimeter um, in the back here. Alright, so notice the T nuts are aligned even with this thing. Alright, let me get this off there. Make sure I don't get the wires out of the way. Now, make sure it's flush. Okay. Okay. Make sure the front is lined perfectly because that's part of the other containment system is actually it needs to be lined front. Up here on the front. Alright. So I'm gonna use my little screwdriver and bring it down. 
Hey, right, there it is. Lower chip caching system. I think you don't want to make this too loose or it could wiggle out. But, uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, these felt pads are going to make a huge difference in noise. Impact, noise, absorption. Alright, so if you saw this, I actually designed that too. It's on my Thingiverse page down below. But, this is like a air blower and cable chain. But, videos to come. I have, uh, I designed an air blowing system, like a laser air assist system with the fan. That'll be an air coming video. I'll put all links down, down below where you can get the felt, all the parts to make this happen. But, um, alright, cool. Yeah, like I said, I, I have a, um, a side containment system here. I've already designed it. I just got to print it out and put it all together. So, that way it's going to be self-contained, no chips everywhere. Hopefully, you now it's going to come up to about here. And, uh, I mean, you know, when I'm done with it, I can just blow it off and just pull the chips out the bottom. Alright, cool.